And the first one is what inspired you to write Moonfish as the ecological thriller that it is? Because there isn't a lot of there isn't a lot of films like that that do have that message. Where did you find that inspiration from? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to sound preachy, yeah. but this planet, you know, the I'd rather have animals than people, if I'm truthful. Yeah. Um, I think I think we have a duty to protect our wildlife, our marine life. Um, and we're not. We say we are, and some people are, but you know, we've become we have become a very selfish society um you know there are there are billionaires happily pumping chemical waste into our rivers and into our streams um look at look at look at our oceans i mean you know they're full of plastic yeah. we've become this we've become this inconsiderate throwaway society yeah. and and sometimes i feel if you're going to try and get that message across that message in isolation isn't working yeah. you know people people are not thinking about it as they should mm -hmm. so what i wanted to do was write a ecological thriller and and and, and the emphasis is on thriller you know the message is there but we're not we're not making a film necessarily just about that message otherwise you know there would be no engagement with the film um and moonfish is really kind of quite original is that there, there is this insidious beat under the film that nature is taking control, is, take, is, is, is taking command, and, and, it, and it's sort of based... So I based, I based the movie on a fictional, isolated island community in the, in the UK, like... Um, so we've created, we've, you know, by cheating various locations, we've created this island community. Yeah. So in isolation, we see nature taking, taking control. And essentially, we came from the sea. This is, this is the mythology behind Moonfish. Yeah. We came from the sea. That's how, that's how mankind originated. And I've created this fictional, well, they might not be fictional. Who knows? We don't know what's beneath the sea. But I've created this voyeuristic yeah. presence that's looking, that's coming from the sea, looking at how we are messing up the planet. Yeah. And essentially, you know, this this is not a spoiler, but the children, all the children, sort of like below fifteen and below, mm. are being called back to the sea yeah. because because we as because we as humans have messed it up. You know, they have been watching us for centuries yeah. and, you know, our greed and our, you know, our evolution has, has, has is basically killing the planet. So we're all going to get washed away. We're all going to get washed away. We're all going to get cleansed. The planet's going to be reborn um, and basically start, basically start again. Yeah. And, and in amongst all that is some real spine chilling horror moments yeah. do you know what i mean there's absolutely when i when i first read the script i was like <laughs> like because it kind of has that you, i don't know if you saw do you remember when they put up that countdown in Times square of like how long we actually have left yes yeah that is the feeling that i got because like you say it's like without no spoilers but there is that time when nature will like say you know enough's enough and take over again like you say and all the way through the, the film there is that kind of underlying beat like you say of this presence that's kind of coming back and it's 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 chilling it's scary yeah. um yeah it's scary i think it's going to be a scary film in lots of ways a because because you know we will see these creatures we will see we will see nature fighting back but and it's not just that you know the fauna the the um, the seaweed the, the the sand is all going to start having its own proper you know its own physicality it's 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 very original I think I've tried to I've tried to think of um, 
a comparable film, and I honestly can't. And that's kind of exciting because I think that's going to become my calling card now. With, with, with obviously, once a year on Blackpool Sands was a personal experience, a story I've been carrying for a lot of years. But all my work now feels really original. Yeah. Um, Wing, Wings and Moonfish are both very original stories, and that's kind of what I want to be known for. Yeah. You know, a, an original kind of filmmaker. Yeah, I love it. Um, so, final question. Um, what was the inspiration for Wings? Wings is a crazy, heavy, just supernatural thriller, but also kind of has that human element to it as well. There's there's a lot of history in the characters, obviously. Yeah. Spoilers, but there is that kind of emotional connection. And I was wondering where you got that inspiration from. I think, I think for me, the best way to describe Wings is it's an intelligent horror film. I mean, it's a horror film. It's it's some of the scenes that we're that we're we're, we're going to be shooting soon, especially with the abduction of the four boys. Are I'm going to I'm going to go for something that is absolutely, you know, gut wrenching, yeah. um, terror, absolute undiluted terror is what's going to is what's going to happen on on those scenes, and the supernatural elements of. They're kind of research from Irish folklore. Well, they are. They're, they're, there is a being called a puka. And it's a, you know, supernatural entity. And I kind of thought, well, Irish... Irish sort of um, to Liverpool is, is, is a very natural fit. It's a big Irish community in Liverpool. And the character, the character lines with the story art would, would, would definitely work, work with that. So what we what I've what we've created is a visually stunning looking movie in terms of the supernatural effects um, on a micro budget, I have to say. Yeah. So so we're being very we're being very very creative in, in, in that regard. And and Wings is an original an original kind of original story. It's um, it's got lots of sort of supernatural elements in it, but underneath it is a is a quite an authentic crime crime story, a crime thriller. Yeah. You know, I've tried to I've tried to write the police characters as authentically as possible. The the families of the boys, um, again, you know, there's there's a human fragility there. There's you know there's there's, there's emotion within it, there's, and we've got some great actors who are going to portray that. Um, so yeah, I think Wings is going to be a film that appeals to to horror fans, yeah. but we'll have a but because it's not a slasher film as such, yeah. it's going to have quite a broader appeal. Yeah, but absolutely. but your, your your horror film fan is going to love this because it's going to give you it's going to give you the supernatural tension, terror, lots of blood, lots of gore. Um, but done in a way that isn't um, formulaic, shall we say? It, it's very. It's going to be very twisty and clever and and um, and scare the pants off you, but also make you think and possibly and hopefully feel. You know, like you say, there is a very human story attached to it as well. So um, it's, a, it's an incredibly that, exciting project. It, it is. It's so it is so exciting because I think because it has that human element, like you say, there's, you know, there's Detective Rita Murphy and her family, like it's not, it's not, like you say, it's not just your slasher movie where there's no backstory to everyone, and it's also not the generic crime drama that's on every single night on every channel, it's like a, a combination of the two, and I don't think you see that very often, so it's really... I don't, I don't think you do, I mean, and I think, um, the one thing Adam Dawson, who's the DOP and editor, we, we wanted to create a creature that wasn't, we didn't want to put angel wings on, on, on or, or go for that kind of thing. We, we've, we're creating a very organic shapeshifter that's kind of, it's kind of based on, you know what, usually when you see a shapeshifter in a movie, they have some great effect where they're running naked usually and then they become a wolf or they become, so what we're trying to do, we're trying, we're trying to make that, Metamorphosis, really organic, 
So it's all about the skin. It's all, you know, the, the attributes of the shapeshifter are based within. Yeah. So that the wings and the, and the shape is all based on skin and bone. Yeah. And I mean, I've, we've, we've started working on the prototypes and they, they are going to be chilling. I mean, they are good, you know, they're not going to be, I think anybody expected it to be like, you know, Lucifer or angel's wings coming out is, is going to be really sharp because we're going to show, we're actually going to show the, um, the change coming, coming through the skin. And, and, um, I think it's going to, it's going to be a, one of those moments, I think, because it's, it really is going to be terrifying. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. <laughs> um, so they are, they're all the questions that were asked and that I wanted to ask you. Is there anything else that you wanted to ask? Is yeah, I just, I just, because I'm usually quite shy about being interviewed and <laughs> it's not really my natural go-to. Yeah. Um, I'm very much behind the scenes. But I just wanted to sort of um, say th say thank you to our producer to to our producing team, you know, to Andrew O'Day, to Gail, to Chris, to um, Paul. The, we, we, we're we're looking for people to come and join um, our ba our baby dog sort of family in in a producing way, because I think these two movies that we're actually making now there's going to be a really great return on investment because both these films fit the, the most lucrative genre in, in sort of, you know, lower budget filmmaking, which is, which is horror. Yeah. Um, so I think, um, you know, Wendy is doing an amazing job reaching out and, and making sure our brand is, is our brand is visible, but, these guys who've, who've come on board as producers, I'm kind of delighted because they've got they've got faith in me, in my storytelling and my and my filmmaking. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to sort of give 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 them a give them a shout out and also kind of invite people to get in touch with us if they if they're looking you know if they're looking to in, if they're looking to be an investor or. You know, and, and all our investors have a, you know, a, mo a moment on screen. They are, you know, executive producer, opening credits, associate producer, opening credits. Um, you know, we, we offer days, you know, hopefully when things are better, we can get, you know, Andrew and Richard and various people want to come up on set. And I can't wait. I can't wait to share that experience because, you know, without sounding all gushy, there is, there is, it's a wonderful experience being on set. Watching a film get made, you know, being part of that journey is, is incredible. So, you know, we're looking for people to, you know, come, come and join us, be an executive producer, be an associate producer, be part of the story of baby, the ongoing story of baby dog films. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that was my little shout out. But without, without the, without, you know, the likes of Andrew and the people who were, who are supporting us, Paul and Chris and Gil, they, they are putting the bricks in place yeah. to enable Wendy and I to do our jobs. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's get more people to the party if we can. Yeah. It is, because it is a party. It's great. We have a great time. Um, yeah. So thank you so, so much for coming to join me today. Um, My pleasure. So just like you say, if anybody is interested in becoming a part of the company as an executive producer, associate producer, any kind of want to get involved, you can contact us directly through our websites or even drop me a message on social media and I'll make sure that you get sent to the right place. Um, so, Carl, thank you so much for joining me today and I will speak to you very soon. Wonderful. Many thanks. Bye. Bye.